Welcome back YouTube. This is the smoking ride here. Today we're going to go on a little uh, POV ride together. Uh, I'm sitting in the 2020 Camaro right now and um, I just thought I'd give you guys a little taste of the road. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, my apologies ahead of time. Um, if the camera gets a little bit shaky, um, I am working on getting um, a new camera shortly to do some better videos. Um, but I think we should be okay for this ride. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Um, just a real quick ride. Uh, I gotta go pick up a couple of cigars and then um, I'm gonna head back home. So, um, Keep an eye out and uh, I'll let you know what I'm experiencing with you guys. I do have the window closed on the right side of the car um, from my mount. So um, whatever noise you hear will be coming from um, the roof, which is now open, and the driver's side is also open. Um, so I'm just coming along here um, outside of my community nice easy pulling away here I don't know if you can hear that mild growl um, let me tell you it really doesn't get better than a V8 I had the uh, 2017 um, RS V6 in yellow, and I absolutely loved that car, loved that engine, loved everything about it. That is until I got this one, and um, it is probably the best decision that I have ever made um, in a big purchase. Um, it's something I plan on, this car is something I plan on holding on to for years and years to come. Um, I have no intentions of um, selling it, no intentions of trading it in. I have no intentions of over modifying it to the point where um, you know it's no longer a street machine um, in saying that you know I do have some plans to do some mild um, mild to moderate depending on the direction that we go uh, upgrades to the vehicle um, so nothing really that goes beyond bolt-ons. Um, you know, looking at a cold air intake, uh, two that I have in mind. Um, you know, the one that I'm considering is cold air inductions. They have two products, one that's a carbon fiber intake, uh, runs around 700. And then um, they also make a black or a chrome version that's somewhere around 400 um, so either one of those I really like um, also considering uh, you know the roto fab intake um, I do like that one as well um, in all honesty um, I like the closed setup on the cold air inductions I think it's um, very nice looking um, addition to under the hood so I'm um, thrilled about considering that you know in, in the near future uh, I'm also considering um, a couple other ideas uh, maybe doing some stripes uh, possibly um, haven't really decided on a color you know, the car is black, so I was thinking about a 
potentially red, uh, potentially yellow, maybe white. Um, you know, I, I was thinking of rally stripes, but then I like the stinger stripe. And then I was thinking of maybe just doing, you know, a couple of stripes alongside the doors. So maybe you guys can comment um, and let me know what you think look good on this particular black um, SS. You know, the interior has the Alcantara steering wheel, Alcantara shift boot. Of course, it has the Recaro seats. Um, these are all upgrades, um, which definitely make the car uh, definitely more luxurious. You know, straight from the factory, you know, it has nice materials. Um, it's not overdone. It's appropriate for this car. Um, some people say it's, uh, you know, in terms of design, uh, you know, some people think it's simple. Some people think that, you know, Chevy could have done a little bit more. I personally think the 6th gen interior is amazing. Period. Um, so, you know, and definitely with the small additions and upgrades I got, it makes it, you know, that much more enjoyable in the cockpit. Um, so, um... Yeah, that, that's, that, those are some of the upgrade ideas I have. Um, you know, the cold air intake, um, you know, stripes. Um, I, I may consider doing um, a couple other small things um, down the line. Um, you know, I really don't have plans to do anything major like a supercharger. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very content with, you know, the 455 horsepower and 455 foot-pounds of torque this beast has. Um, like I said, it's going to be a collector piece. It's going to be something I take out occasionally. Um, car shows and whatnot, meetups, down the line. My idea and recent thought is, you know, as the channel grows, um, you know, I'm certainly loving highlighting this car and I will continue to do so. Um, but my idea is, you know, is potentially down the line to consider getting a channel car. Um, since this is kind of my prized possession um, and I don't want to do any major modifications to it, um, you know, other than those small ones I had mentioned, and maybe a couple others um, into the future, um, but that's it for the near future. You know, so when I say channel car, I'm thinking, you know, potentially getting a V6 or another V8, either 5th or 6th gen, um, and doing some spectacular stuff to it. Um, whether that mean, um, <clears throat> you know, heavy modifications, we're starting off with just some, some minor ones, um, and taking you guys on that journey. So that's an option. <coughs> like I said, right now I'm just toying with this car, enjoying it. I'm going to give you guys a quick uh, rev of the engine as I'm, uh, unfortunately the roads that I'm on <coughs> right now, are uh, 30, 40 miles an hour, and um, they are a ton of cops out all over the place. So here, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little uh, listen. I don't know if that came across in the video, but really couldn't do too much more than that. Like I said, I'm uh, <laughs> kind of in uh, slow-moving roads here and uh, heavily populated and uh, whatnot and any eye-catching activity on a beautiful day like today where I live will certainly um, render a very unfavorable result. Um, so I don't need that um, and I, I don't want to share that sort of content with you, uh, but 
a um, little more about the car. Um, um, so as you guys know, it has 455 horsepower. Um, it does have different modes, I'm sure. Most of the enthusiasts know that by now. However, for those of you that don't know, um, it does have a tour mode, a track mode, a sport mode, and an all-weather mode. I never plan to use the all-weather mode. Let me just get that out there right away. Um, in terms of the track mode, um, the difference between track and sport valves are open in both. Um, track <clears throat> changes the programming in response of the pedal a little bit, holds the gear a little bit longer. <clears throat> so when you're doing um, track, where you're taking you know the vehicle to the track, um, it maneuvers around corners and holds gears longer um, for you to get that um, maneuverability and response time that you need. Um, sport is very responsive. Um, tap the pedal and um, the wheels break loose. Uh, I'm basically feathering the pedal right now. Like I'm going like that barely even touching it when I'm moving at 20 or 30 miles an hour um, so um, yeah I'll give you a little rev now I'm stopped um, <clears throat> sounds great doesn't it um, I just can't get enough of it I mean, it sounds great in the garage but on the road it's freaking amazing um, freaking amazing Dual mode, as I stated earlier, with the you know. The